Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Cooking with Ty. Today we're going to be making mashed potatoes. Not just any mashed potatoes, we're going to be using fingerling potatoes. And it's going to make our mashed potatoes so creamy, buttery, and delicious. So it's very easy, simple, let's go. Okay, so for our mashed potatoes, we're going to be using fingerling potatoes, unsalted butter, heavy whipping cream for a very creamy, creamy taste, and we have garlic. Okay, so what we're going to want to do is get our potatoes nice and clean um, so we can go ahead and cut them up. Okay, so now that we got our potatoes nice and clean, what we're also gonna do is just get our pot with, we always wanna start with cold water to get some of the starch out. So now that our potatoes are all washed up, what we're gonna do is get our pot. Um, we're gonna start off with cold water, and once our potatoes are diced, we'll put them in along with salt and bring it up to a boil. Okay, so what you wanna do is just dice the potatoes up into nice chunks. These are already small potatoes and they're gonna be mashed. We are gonna leave the skin on. The reason I like to try different mashed potatoes, um, and I discovered how good fingerlings were, uh, was my obsession for the Cheesecake Factory mashed potatoes. Those I actually really love. I feel like fingerling potatoes just bring a nice element to the dish. So what we're doing here, we're not cutting them up too much, but we, we just want them to boil a little bit quicker. They'll soften up. And yeah, I'm gonna use the whole bag of potatoes. Mashed potatoes typically go great with a lot, a lot of things. Now we have our potatoes cut up. So I'm gonna call the water on. What we're gonna do is go ahead and put this on some high heat. And we're gonna add our salt. So we're gonna add our potatoes as well. Okay y'all, so what we're gonna do is just bring these potatoes to a boil. Um, once they're boiled, we'll go ahead and get them strained um, and ready to mash. And then we'll be adding in our butter, heavy cream, um, salt and pepper. So our potatoes have been boiling for a while. Let's go ahead and check them. When they're nice and soft and breaking apart, what we're going to go ahead and do is drain these because they're still going to be cooking from the high heat. Let's go ahead and drain them and I'll be right back. Hey y'all, so now since our potatoes are done, the first thing I'm going to actually do is add a little bit of heavy cream, not, not much. Add some heavy cream and I'm going to start, start mashing. And I really like this because the skins are still in there. And you can just see the color of these mashed potatoes. You can tell how buttery they are already. So now when we mash, I'm gonna add a little bit more heavy whipping cream. And usually I, I, I suggest adding melted butter, but what we're gonna do is the butter's gonna melt either way because our potatoes are still hot. I'm gonna take four tablespoons of butter and just add them in and then they'll start melting. Actually, just uh, three tablespoons of butter. For right now and then we'll go and do what we have to and i like my mashed potatoes not too fine i love a chunky mashed potato with skin um you also see the fingerling potatoes does give a color because of the various colors of the potatoes um if you want you can buy um, just the uh neutral color fingerlings but they naturally come in different colors. And then I am gonna add that last bit of butter. I 
also. Cracked pepper. And so, never too much, just enough, and then people can season to taste on their plate. Oh yeah, so we have our mashed potatoes here. Let's give them a final stir, making sure everything's incorporated. Nice and chunky. One thing that I did forget, usually like I said, I melt the butter and what I would do is infuse the garlic with it so we could have garlic mashed potatoes. Today I didn't. That's okay, these things still taste great. I'm gonna go ahead and plate them for you so you can check them out for yourself. Okay y'all, so these are our, this is our finished product, our mashed potatoes. They're very nice, chunky, and you see the perfect color from the fingerling potatoes. Um, as I said, you can go ahead and add your own variations, add your cheese, add your sour cream, add chives, bacon, whatever you like to add um, to this recipe, and it will be delicious. Okay, y'all, so we made our mashed potatoes. These are nice, chunky, creamy, everything that you want in this mashed potato, as I said before. Go ahead, add whatever you want into these potatoes. And as you know, I forgot the garlic butter, so next time we'll be putting making these garlic mash. But let's go ahead and give these a try. These things are amazing. They always remind me of the Cheesecake Factory mashed potatoes. And that's why I wanted to share this recipe with you today. So give it a try. Let me know how it comes out for you. But these are amazing. The heavy whipping cream makes it nice and rich. These things are amazing. I'll see y'all on my next episode.